When we installed two of Vizio's 47-inch M-series televisions in our rather huge kitchen and dining space, we realized we were going to need some big sound to go with the big room. That's why we picked Vizio's 2.0 soundbar. We knew that this would match up well with the television and also it's one of the best budget soundbars you can buy. Here's how we installed it. Now if our television was fixed, we would just plant the soundbar right on the wall using the hardware that comes in the box. However, our TV is not fixed. This thing moves around a lot, and we want the sound to move along with it. For that, we grab the Sanus SA405 soundbar mount. It attaches to existing Sanus stands and keeps the soundbar with the television. Now we've already completed step one here. These two mounting brackets actually go into the two lower holes of the Visa mount pattern. So they're kind of tied in with our television mount already. You can see here there's plenty of holes to allow for different heights. And you really want these to come down just below the lip of the television. And here is where we're going to place our next set of brackets. Next, we've got to attach these two arms. And to do that, you may need to use some series of spacers or washers in order to get a nice tight fit. This is the screw that actually came with the sound bar. Go ahead and tighten the screw down, but not all the way. We still need to loose fit this mount. Now we're basically going to hang the sound bar onto the TV brackets. You don't have to worry about it hanging down. We'll be able to push it up later. Again, you just want to snug these up a little bit. You don't want to tighten them all the way down. Now I'm just going to lift this thing up into place. There we go. Hold it with one hand, tighten it with the other. And now we've got just two more screws to tighten down. Now we just need to provide power here and then a signal cable. We're going to go with an optical cable, but you can use whatever your TV supports. We'll just make our connection to our TV here. And it might be a good idea to keep those twist ties around so you can keep that excess cable tied up. And now we're done. We've got a beautiful sound bar that matches our TV's design exactly. And now our sound goes wherever our picture goes.